Hi, I'm Mark Tross. This is the New Mexico Minute. Today we're talking about the Wild West. The town of Cimarron, Spanish for wild, truly lived up to its name, unless one believes the story of the cowboy cook who, finding beans still hard in the cooking pot, cried, Simmer on. It became the gathering place for a curious mix of people, some like Jesse James and Clay Allison, who lived way outside the law. Many others of their kind also found their way to the St. James Hotel, reportedly the scene of 26 murders, where the ceiling over the saloon was so frequently shot at, three layers of oak flooring were finally put in the room above it to protect guests. In fact, killing was so common, peaceful times made news. The Las Vegas Gazette once reported, everything is quiet in Cimarron. Nobody has been killed for three days. But peace-loving, quiet people also enjoyed the comforts of the town and the hotel. It was here that Buffalo Bill and Annie Oakley planned his Wild West shows. Zane Gray wrote Fighting Caravans. Lou Wallace worked on Ben-Hur. And where Frederick Remington rested after sketching in the nearby mountains. And then there is the ghost.